are celebrating today. This is the 10th anniversary of the launch of our first fund. And we've come a long way since that time. Today, we are at the vanguard of a rapidly growing market. Trimble, you are the OG in the space economy, and this idea that space infrastructure and technology from space is the building blocks for innovation here on Earth, you are very much at the forefront of that. The idea of uh, years ago, dot on a map, was a very novel application. You know, today that becomes table stakes for doing business. The question we really want to solve is, how can we enable any single human on the planet to easily access and tap into that infrastructure? I do believe, with respect to greenhouse gases, we're undergoing a data revolution that'll allow us to have radical transparency that'll turn the whole climate issue on its head and provide an ability to much more effectively understand the problem and the solutions. How can we create a capability to detect wildfires early and suppress them when they are small. That was the original genesis of the FireSat project. The issue that we need to address with wildfire, it's not how much there is, it's how hot it is. How hot it is, is what makes the difference between a good fire, ecosystem-wise, and a bad fire, damage-wise. We're at a really important inflection point right now where the systems that we have in orbit are critical infrastructure, but also face some risk. What's needed is a multi-tiered strategy. As defense and infrastructure budgets have surged, there's a number of private companies that are stepping in to help address these vulnerabilities and drive innovation going forward. Defense investment in general has been booming the last couple of years. I think you see some deals getting done that you know, maybe a couple of years ago were tougher to get done, and I think that'll continue to be the case. We're seeing just this demand happen for people wanting more and more data at a more rapid pace. We have years of imagery, these very sophisticated satellites that have enabled us to get to an incredible accuracy, which enables better mapping products, uh, better navigational products. A critical part of understanding where you are, what you're looking at, and how you're interacting with the real world is positioning. AI models are only ever going to be as good as the data that you feed them. All data sets at this point are location tagged. And so what level of insights and what better insights can you start to make when those data sets are going from meters of accuracy down to centimeters of accuracy? The way that you collect data about the world has been dramatically transformed. We're kind of moving into this place where space becomes just part of the general economy and many, many more entities are going to be doing things in space than we ever thought was possible before. And I think that's a really invigorating future vision and I think we're actually very rapidly approaching it. Not only is there huge advantages and opportunities on the investment side in space, but there's also huge impact that's going to happen to make the world a better place. 